Gemini Advanced now has the ability to integrate in our entire Google workspace. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on Google Docs. More specifically, everything we can do within the chat interface when it comes to Google Docs and also what we can do within Google Docs itself using Gemini Advanced. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, we're going to be going over everything we can do with Gemini Advanced when it comes to Google Docs. Now, if you want to see how to even enable Gemini Advanced, you can check out that video right there. And I kind of do like a fast run through of like it interacting with Gmail, it interacting with Google Docs. This video, though, specifically is meant for the users that really like using Google Docs. I loved using Google Docs growing up. I was a Google loyalist growing up. That's probably the entire suite I'm most comfortable with when it comes to any context. I use their sheets. And basically, if you know this channel, you see from my past tutorials, I use Google Sheets over Microsoft Excel. Whole thing going on here. Well, in this video, I'm trying to give you a full comprehension of what Gemini Advance can do in the context of paying that $20 a month with these features also side note new music has been dropped here's a sneak peek all right you can check that out on my twitter let's go ahead and jump into today's video let's start by understanding what we can do with google docs when it comes to the chat interface so i'm going to ask what are the top five hikes in Montana. Let's just get some data going. Let's just get some outputs going so we can kind of understand fundamentally what is occurring here. This is pretty standard stuff coming from Gemini Advanced when it comes to outputs. Really nice structuring with bullet point format and a relevant image. But here's what's super cool. First thing we can learn when it comes to Google Docs and Gemini Advanced is we can use this little share and export feature. Click it, export to docs, and we can go ahead and create a whole doc based off information we've compiled throughout a chat. So if we go, I'm in front of it. We can go ahead and hit open doc here. Once we've opened this doc, we'll get a relevant name. What are the top five hikes in Montana? And we'll get all the relevant information. So obviously this was a very simple use case where I just gave the top five hikes. But in theory, you could go through an entire conversation with Gemini Advanced to get very specific data points and then push it towards a doc. So let me give another example of this. I am writing a paper on the industrial revolution. Give me a thesis and five sources. I can cite this would have been lovely in high school and college. I'm actually glad I didn't have this kind of tech in high school and college because I probably wouldn't be as good of, as a writer. I would probably lean way too much on this kind of stuff. The reason why I said to also give sources is because of another feature within Gemini Advanced, which may be pretty powerful to you. Also notice it's already giving us nice little links. So we can use the double check response. So let's say we're writing a paper and on top of that, on top of the information we're receiving for this paper, we also want to double check it. Or I like to call it gut check it and we'll go ahead and see whether or not this information is true and where it comes from. We can expand here. And here's what's super cool too. I can click this and it'll actually bring me to the exact point in which this is referenced, which is right here. Pretty cool. Now that I have all this information, I can actually do the same thing here. Share and export, export to docs, creating a document and I keep covering it. I just jump up here, boom, hit open docs. And we have the beginning of an outline to a paper with relevant sources as well. Yes, I'm actually glad this wasn't tech that I had <laughs> in education because, man, I would really lean into it. Coming back over to our hike stock because we want to go on some hikes in Montana. Maybe you want to ride a horse. I don't know. We can go ahead and leverage Gemini within Google Docs. This is, like, really cool. This is kind of the integrations that we were looking for. I assume that we can also do a presentation and slides. We'll get to that in the future. But here we go. Here's the first thing to note here, which is pretty cool. Based on the trails below give me a three sentence summary of which one i should choose if i am a beginner first gut check it actually can see information within the doc itself so to prove that i'm gonna go ahead and hit insert here avalanche lake is that existing here it is avalanche lake lake there's your first gut check. It actually can see the data within the doc already, which could be useful depending on your use case. You have lengthy documents. We can summarize it. We can find specific key information within the documents. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and keep playing around with this, though. I'm going to go ahead and select it like this. And as you see, when I highlight, it brings up a whole list of things we can do. Elaborate. Oh, you really elaborated. Okay. So we got a ton of information of why Avalanche Lake is an ideal for a beginner. We can also proceed with, in other ways such as custom, make it a poem. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see what it does. I assume it's going to be a haiku. In glaciers embrace, a lake of serene, avalanche lake, a hiker's dream. A trailer wonder, four miles long, with gentle slopes and a cedar song. <laughs> 
Okay, that's a really long. Uh, how do I, I mean, retry? Maybe. All right, that's a retry on the poem. Don't worry, I'm not. This is not literary class. I'm not gonna keep reading poems. I'm gonna just say no to that. So in order to discard that, I'm gonna just click outside and I hit discard. Let's come back to it. Let me go ahead and click this as well. And we can actually try different tones here. It seems pretty standard here. So we got formal, casual, summarized, bullet point. What could be really cool is that we, you know, have a lot of text to deal with. And as we know, we don't like reading paragraphs. Or some of y'all maybe like reading paragraphs. We want it concise and to the point. Let's bulletize it. So notice how it's very, the, the flow, the workflow is a lot different than it used to be, right? It's very much click, click. Uh, okay, I like this insert. And there we go. And it gives me a bullet points of why Avalanche Link is the best one to choose if you're a beginner. Of course, if you don't like the response, you can also hit Command Z or Control Z to revert back, as we already know, when using these kind of technology. Click on over here, though. I'm going to just try something random like make it funny. Seems like it can already understand tone, which is pretty cool. So you think you're a big shot, huh? Well, Avalanche Link is the perfect place to start. That's pretty cool. So it can get pretty cool in the sense that you can do a lot of custom stuff, which, you know, could lead to a lot of open doors that we're not even aware of. Like, I almost wonder, can we get like links? Can you reference a link to another height with this level of difficulty? I have no clue if this will be able to do this. I assume in the future I will. This, the provided context does not mention any links. Okay, can't do that. That's fine. What it can do though is really manipulate data really fast. Let's push it to the limits here. So I'm gonna try a couple of different tests right now. I'm gonna do a blank document. I'm gonna do a resume right now. So for example, let's actually push the limits. I'm actually really curious here. I'm gonna hit command A and I'm gonna hit fill in all the variables with a potential person named James. I will be genuinely surprised if it can do that. Cause all of this is, you know, heebie jeebie. Okay, it can't. <laughs> Sooner or later, though, I highly assume that it will be able to understand that by me selecting all this, basically, I want a James company location, you know, Amazon warehouse, like just fill in all that information. Right now, it doesn't seem like it has that capability, but I would assume in the future it can. When starting a new document, we get prompted with different information. So just help me write meeting notes, email draft, and more. Email draft, cool. Calendar event. Oh, they're trying to compete with Notion a little bit there. Interesting. I like that. Help me write. Let's see how up to date this information is. What is great about Gemini Vance? We should see references to two terabytes connecting with the Google Workspace. Let's just see how up to date this is when it comes to information. Seamlessly integrates with Google Workspace. Okay, cool. So this is relevant. This is like status quo information. This isn't like outdated, like trained on April of 2023. That's powerful as well. With the changes of the user interface within Google, they're actually giving you the ability also to use this at sign. There will probably be a lot more features by the time you click that at sign within Google Docs to play around with. But for now, you know, this is like going next level here. It actually looks like we could reference files. Wait, this actually might be very powerful. Summarize this. Let's go check this. Increase revenue by 15% a year. This is fake data here. I used in another video. Projected annual increase of 15%. Oh, okay, Google. We're going to have the ability to reference other files within our workflows. Now, the reason you might be like, okay, well, that seems standard is because Copilot, which is Microsoft's competitor or Google's competitor in this same fashion, Copilot integrates with their entire 365 ecosystem Microsoft. In order to do what I just did right there, it would cost you around $230 a year maybe 300. I forget the exact amount. The problem with that is that you had to have a business plan. You had to enable it for per user. And it was like 230, $300. Google gives it to you for 20 bucks. I can guarantee you long-term, there is no way Microsoft's going to stay at that pricing plan. It's just not competitive in, in what these other softwares are doing. The fact that I can do that for 20 USD comparative to 200 USD, I think you'd lean towards the 20. Well, that concludes today's video. That goes over most of what Google Docs can do now with Gemini Advanced. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. Helps me out here. Check out that song, Neon Chaos. Neon Chaos. Interesting. Check out the playlist at the end here. This is going over other stuff within Google Gemini. And then overall, my channel is very much helping you in business in the context of this new modern age as artificial intelligence is becoming very real and very prevalent. And a lot of stuff that we learned years ago was actually outdated. So I'll see you in the next video.
That's the playlist I was referring to for Google Gemini integrating into your workspace. That's a random video based off your clicks. So maybe one of those nights you went on a rabbit hole is suggesting it for some reason. That's my face. Something may or may not happen when you click it. Something that might happen. I don't know. I feel like you need some ribs right now. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>